Now listen up, Naomi and Veronica. I know that you didn't like the rebrand of Rainbow High since season 5, but we don't have any of that. In a position, though, this guess Bella Parker's singing voice is the best obsession we have ever done because we have totally stoked the crowd with her song and by cheered for her to jump to jump on stage as if I began to do a riff solo on my guitar. However, Remixer has recently said something about that song entitled The Start of the Rainbow and was completely, um, good. And we wanted to think of an extended version before of during live shows, such as on the East Coast. That's where Pacific Coast High is. Now, hear me out, Naomi and Veronica. I don't really like the creepy past and horror concepts based on your reactions. However, my concepts from my, from the Rainbow High rebrand that remind me of are from none other than Maddie Short, aka Matthew Short. That's M to the T via the S. So what not? But maybe I'm just getting a little bit confused. Maybe just getting a little bit confused about what's going on with these horror concepts. But unfortunately, you don't have the truth to handle anything. And also, I don't have any creepy pasta or horror concepts like you. It's just that um, I don't. I'm not into it because of the the nightmares that. Um, a rookie had because he didn't and also he didn't like the incident that is been caused at the movie theater last year and was shameful for the betrayal of Lotso and everyone got completely fed up about what happened so but let's move on so and in that case I don't have anything like but let's just be honest that the one of the rebrands has gotten me a con has reminded me of a concept from Team Fortress 2, which is only the classic one. But without further ado, don't pop it yet. Oh wait, wait. Oh, she's back. Or oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, but let's just think of other things. So, like getting to the Bella Parker LP is the best album that we are going to make so because although let me just get this straight for a second so i can get on the other side of what's going on so what can we expect from marley sparkle well as a standard practice we can expect anything from it like such as um making their own skits as if i made the skit during um, TF2, like I was also Mike spamming skits from in the Lazy Purple Silly server, and it's completely made by Marley Sparkle herself. And well, not just her, me. I also did a toe, but in the in a TF2 way instead of the um, Riblish way. But let well, let's face it. Let's just say that um. We are not a big pain in the if we were complete failed, failed attempts. <laughs> As if no one can understand, even if I didn't know what can expect. So I want anyone to just stop bothering about creepy pastas and the horror cold six because we don't want it here neither does the tf2 community but well they they don't like the majority of it <laughs> just, uh, especially um capture the intelligence which is the bad game ever and it's not my kind and it's not on my to-do list i either <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna be a little bit, um, a little bit un unexpected, like, what's going down hell and what's not going down here? Well, I also hear that Shadow High is going downhill because apparently someone is... Oh, whoa, whoa. Apparently, 
One of them didn't like Shadow High at all. Because this is probably because one of Brother's discovery made the decision to cancel Shadow High, and it's all their fault. Yes, that's right. It is their fault for canceling Shadow High, and we want it back just in time for Deathmatch Down Under. But this whole no holds barred in this godforsaken match in this. Fatal 4-Way Mother <laughs> Death Match with Shadow High Graphics, which is kind of a good plan. Yes. But anyways, I'm out.